as a 93 boxing i'm back with a quick video david hay versus tony belly will happen this weekend this coming weekend march 4th and you know um just like most people i'm predicting tony belly to get knocked the fuck out i mean he's a, he's a respectable fighter but on that level i think david hay is just leagues above him leagues 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 many leagues above him tony belly um to be honest he, i mean you know even though I like to root for underdogs a lot of times, a lot of times I do, but this time I feel like the underdog needs to get knocked out. I don't want him to get hurt. No, I don't want to see anyone get hurt to the point where it damages them permanently. And uh, obviously a knockout does damage them, does damage people. But you know, he deserves to get um, beaten a little bit, you know, by, especially by David Hay. Tony Belly is a bit of a hypocrite. And let me tell you why. He was the one Talking all that big shit, pretending like he wanted to fight David Hay right then and there after his last fight. I can't even remember who he fought. And then, you know, it, he got he tried to get out of the ring. He tried to pretend like he wanted to fight David Hay. He was talking shit about David Hay um, during the Sky interview. I remember watching him and then he was just talking about his hair and all kinds of things like that. Um, and, you know... Um, Sideshow Bob and shit. I don't, you know, this is some lame shit that he keeps talking about. And then, you, you know, he's talking about he's the man, he wants to fight, he's brave, this and that. But when David Hay really, you know, it, it's a quick left hook. It wasn't really a punch because David Hay punches hurt. If they, I'm fairly sure they do hurt, they, they could damage you. But it was a quick one here in the, in the press conference, and Tony Belly was kind of complaining and shit about it being a punch. When you're the one that insinuating everything, all kinds of shit, you've been calling him all kinds of names, you've been, you just been talking shit, it's not the first time, this guy's been talking shit for too long. Against Nathan Ke Cleverly, I remember he was talking so much shit, and it was annoying man, really annoying. Tony Belly, he was, he just kept talking shit in this fight, again, you know, um, I'm gonna go to his fans, but let me go to Tony Belly, clear him up first. He was just talking a whole bunch of shit, he was talking... David Hay was saying, hey, because, you know, uh, the fans were a bit, you could say in terms of, they could be a bit overwhelming. And um, they were really annoying, man. People were saying, oh, it's entertaining. It's not entertaining. It's just fucking annoying. Like Tony Bellew himself. And, you know, they're just talking. Man, it's just, I would get a headache if I was there, honestly. I would not like the atmosphere. It's just a bunch of shouting. Like, you know, um, when Tony Bellew, at one point, he was like, you know, he tells um, David Hay to shush mind his language. There's kids, watch, there's a kid in the audience and shit. But you know, um, the audience overall was like just a bunch of shouting animals. Like, honestly, it's just a bunch of lame shouting animals. And it would piss anyone off. And people are now making a big deal about David Hay calling them a retard. What do you expect, man? Like, honestly, these guys are just shouting. And they know that Tony Belly would get knocked out. And David Hay was right. If you believe in Tony Belly so much, why don't you bet all of what you got on him? Or why don't you, why don't you just bet on him? You know, for obvious reasons. It's just their fans. And, you know, it's good to support. It's good for fans to support them. But, you know, when Tony Belly says quiet down, there's kids in the audience. Man, the audience are full of shit, man. And also, David, you know, Tony Belly saying that, did he was swearing he was doing all kinds of shit he was saying i think he just called him like shut the fuck up bitch and whatever like shit like that he that's how he started when david hay was there speaking tony belly was still sitting down and you know he started talking shit and it was kind of like you little hypocrite just talking a bunch of shit that no one wants to hear just shut the fuck up and it's he's really annoying tony belly is really annoying and I don't want him to get like hurt like the way David Hayes is describing because he's describing Tony Belly to be hurt like badly. Like he was saying shit like, don't get, you know, um, I advise his family to not come to the fight or even not watch it on the TV because what I'm going to do to him is bad and shit like that. And you know, um, apparently what he will do to Tony Belly if he says it, it, it it's not allowed apparently, which is quite crazy. Like it's, it's the fight game. What do you think? Like... These two guys are about to punch each other in the face or in the body, whatever. And someone can get hurt and describe what you what you plan to do 
what you've been training to do and to to make that illegal to describe what you plan to do in the ring to make that illegal to say that that's crazy you might as well just ban boxing in that case i mean obviously don't ban boxing but with that logic you should you might as well just ban boxing you're, you're not allowed to say it but you're allowed to do it you're not allowed to say that you're about to kill someone but you're allowed to kill someone does that even make sense but one thing David Hay did say is like I'm gonna something about Tony Bennett even if he gets uh, like to a point where his brain doesn't realize that he's gonna, he you know he's out. You know, he'll still get hit with shots, which I mean you know it sounds like as if if Tony Bennett gets hit with a shot, he's about to go down. David Hay's about to hit him with some massive shots. You can't really blame him. I mean this guy's talking a whole bunch of shit about David Hay, and it's only expected for any logical human being to have that type of ability that David Hay does to do the same thing to Tony Bellew I mean he's really annoying I really hope David Hay is not underestimating him completely I hope he's training well and I hope he goes in there take just um with confidence like he you know should do and knock him out I think David Hay can beat Anthony Joshua I said it and he can David Hay might just be the best heavyweight, David Hay or Tyson Fury, which is nice to know because UK, both fighters from the UK, and if Anthony Joshua turns out to be the best, hey, shit, he's from the UK as well. I think the heavyweight division is live and well in the UK. Deontay Wallace in America, but yeah, that's another story. But yeah, David Hay, I feel like he'll beat Tony Bellew, and I feel like rightfully so, Tony Bellew will get beat up. I feel like he deserves it to a certain extent. But yeah, let me know what you think. I'm SR93 Boxing. I'm out. Does anyone here think Tony Bellew actually wins? Comment down below if you think you do. Um, yeah, I'm out.